Hello everyone, this is Isabella with Angel Chantress Love. Today we're going to be working on closing down memory portals with Archangel Gabriel. So anytime we have a memory that is influencing us, whether it's this lifetime, any other time, space, dimension, or reality we've existed in, whether it's an ancestral memory that's been passed down through our lineage and our DNA, it creates a vulnerability if it's a negative memory. So the guides are showing me a shark detecting blood in the water. So if you're swimming in the water and you nick your leg on a coral reef, your leg is going to bleed. And it might be a big gash where there's a lot of blood or it might be a very small nick where there's just a little bit of blood. These sharks that are circling around you can detect this vulnerability in you and they're going to come towards you. So the guides want to start working on closing these memory portals that have these negative influences that affect our life. So every time you recall this memory or it's just active in your energy field, Maybe it's a fear that you're holding on to because you fell from a height. So now you have a fear of heights or maybe you're just a little bit nervous when you have to climb stairs or whatever it is. It's creating a vulnerability in your energy field. So they want to help shut these memory portals down because the more that you can shut down the vulnerabilities in your energy field, the less that you will have to deal with these lower energies attaching to you. So let's see what the guides want to bring through today. Alamaleha o na, alamaleha no, yamalala e o no ka, alamaleka no, anameo na, anameha no, yamalala e o no ka, alamaleka no, anamana e kano, alamaleka no. Alamia utala alamale ano Yamanana ikanala yanakano So the guides want to focus on some major energies that may come up for people. I'm not going to do all of them, but the first one that is coming up is catastrophic events. And I do have an actual video on catastrophic events on my channel if you'd like to do that as well. But they're showing me floods and people being swept away and being buried alive under rubble from earthquakes, things of that nature. So anywhere where you have these deep-seated fears, or even your ancestors do, if they live near a volcano that erupted, or if they were in an area where there were a lot of earthquakes or that sort of thing, this is what the guides want to start shutting down for you. So just open up to the Archangel Gabriel coming through to access your mental energy field and help clear these portals out for you. Take a few deep breaths and be willing to release that fear and that memory. Even if you don't know what your ancestry is, there's probably a very good chance that there are things in your lineage where people experienced a lot of hardship. <laughs> It's come ayo, it's come ayo. Anamaniya, vadaka, alamaniya, alamaniya, onama, anamaniya. They're also showing me wars and sacrificial slayings as well. Amaneka, anamaniya, no. I am an honor and me ao. I am an anayo and mane ao. And mane ao and maka and mane kano. Nuclear explosions. And me ava. And me ao. I am an anayo. Starvation. Anamane ha ho, alavakana, alavakano, yamanavanai ho, anamane ano. Okay, so the guides are talking about matrix energy. They're looking at the higher dimensions and are talking about how you have a high self, but you have multiple high selves in different dimensions and realities that are working with you. 
So those selves in the higher dimensions are actually aware of your presence where if you're looking at an aspect of yourself in the lower dimension, you may not even be aware of God or spirit or source, whatever you want to call that energy, that creator of all. But the higher aspects of you do see you and recognize you and are helping you. So as you increase your energy and your awareness, you're able to help the lower aspects of yourself no matter where they reside in any time, space, dimension, or reality. So that's part of your work to do, not just to clear yourself, but to clear them as well when you have that higher perspective and increased awareness. So the guides are wanting to shut down energies in the higher dimensions that are influencing your current reality. They're asking you to be open to calling in your higher selves into this space right now because they hold the keys and the knowledge to what needs to be cleared for you individually. So let's just invite those aspects of self in. They have that higher wisdom and can see all of these memories that you hold. They're wanting to resolve some emotional triggers for you that are trapped in the mental body. When we have an emotional response to something, we should process it as quickly as possible. But when we continue to dwell on it by focusing on the past and how it hurt us and what happened, we're actually trying to process the emotions through the mental body. And the guides and angels are really wanting to disconnect those energies, the emotional from the mental, so that you can more fully function in the way that your energy field is designed to. And they're saying that this will lift a lot of dense emotions that are trapped for you and keep you locked in these events. So remember after this, if you're having a lot of emotional responses and stuff, you want to make sure you're drinking lots of fluids and getting plenty of rest and allow all of those energies to come up for you. Take a look at them and continue to invoke the Archangel Gabriel to close these memory portals for you. So let's go ahead and clear that. Achmeki na na chmika eni ani eni ani eni ana eni ana na eni aha eni ana hol me aha una ka na ka ni ka no. I am a can, I can make a no. In a can, I am a can, I can make a no. I am a can, I can make a ho. Almakea, 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 ho. Ach make a nakaval, they can. They're saying that it will be easier for them now to be able to close these memory portals because many of you had this connection with your emotional body. Let's see what energies they would like to clear next. They're showing me emergency responders. They're showing me police officers. They're showing me firefighters. They're showing me SWAT teams, DEA, hostage negotiations, things of that nature. So anything super highly charged to life-threatening situations is what they want to close down for you now. Showing me ambulances, car accidents. They're showing me uh, like stillborns and small children that have passed due to tragedies. Okay, so now they're looking at galactic energies. They're showing me a lot of technical labs, like where there's been cloning from alien races, cloning of your DNA making doppelgangers of people, they're showing experimentation, they're showing, wow, um, they're showing people undergoing really 
torturous procedures where they're testing like pain threshold. I'm not going to look into that too deeply because it looks really horrific, <laughs> some of the things these darker ETs are doing. So any kind of abduction energy anywhere where there was experimentation or is continuing to be experimentation on humans or animals, we're going to go ahead and start shutting down these portals and blocking these beings from being able to extract energies and place implants into people's energy fields. We're going to ask Archangel Michael to come forward as well and cut the cords to these beings that are doing these things. Calling on the Galactic Federation and the Karmic Board to begin clearing all these energies out. Okay, so the Archangel Gabriel can also be called on to deactivate and remove the implanted devices that have been put in to monitor and regulate what your vital functions are. And if you've ever had the experience of doing like everything that everybody else does and succeeds and then you can't, you hit the ceiling where you can't get past it and everything in your life just implodes and you have to start over again. I'm sure there are a lot of you who have had this experience. This is because you do have these this alien technology where you have some monitoring spirits placed on you, where they're watching and they're going, you know, you're getting a little too high and mighty here, so we're just going to knock you down again. <laughs> so I used to have a triple hex on my energy field that affected my love life, my support network, and my finances. And it was like a 27-year triple hex where my grandfather had done something and someone had cursed him and our family lineage. So coming in as a generational curse breaker, I got really slammed with this energy and I would be like walking through a parking lot and I would see this man walking by and all of a sudden this face would superimpose over the man's face. He would look at me and more like look through me and I would immediately think that's my arch nemesis and it was such a weird thought because I didn't understand any of this stuff back then but I knew that this being was watching me and he was always there. Every time I got a little bit stable in my life it was like I was building my metaphysical house up and everything was going well but then I would hit the ceiling and it was like a torn tornado would come and just like knock out my whole life, you know, <laughs> and I'd be standing there going, what the hell just happened here, you know, and I'd have to start all over and then I'd hit that point again where I was starting to stabilize my life and it was like a big flood would come through and just knock me out <laughs> again, <laughs> you know, metaphysically speaking. So until I actually learned about entity detachment and I found like my guy led me to this website of this woman who talked about entity detachment. And I'm like, well, that sounds like what is happening to me. So I contacted her and she pretty much outlined everything I was going through. And then she said she could help me for something like $224, <laughs> which was like at the time a fortune for me. I'm like, you do understand that my money's blocked, right? You know? <laughs> so I went, on, I thanked her and I went online and looked around for someone else who could potentially help me at a lower price. And I ran across this woman who she had been doing this work for like 30 years and she had a radio show or something. And she said that she would help me and she wouldn't charge me, just email me and tell me what's going on. So I went ahead and I sent her the email from the other lady because it explained it pretty well. And then I added some details in. And that next morning at like 1.30 in the morning, I sat 
bolt upright in bed and I saw this man walking out of my energy field who was, you know, 27 years younger than the man I kept seeing superimposing because that's when the curse had hit my life. And he was angry. (laughs) He was so angry that she had the power that I didn't have at that time to kick him out of my energy field. And he was just like looking over his shoulder, but he was walking out of my field. So life got a little bit easier at that point. There were still, unbeknownst to me, a ton of other generational curses I had to break from my family line. But it did definitely improve things. And I never saw that guy again. So when you get these like monitoring spirits, you need to start like asking your guides and angels to show them to you, to bring them to the surface so that you can get rid of them. Because until you get rid of them, they're going to be constantly watching you, whether they're generational curses in your family line or whether they're high tech alien devices that are monitoring your breathing and your heart rate and your blood pressure and everything else. And they're screwing with all of that stuff, you're going to experience struggle until you can get these things out of your energy field and clear and protect yourself. So we want to make sure we're removing all of that technology and influence. Um, We don't really have time to go through all of this today, but we will go in and deactivate and start clearing some of these memories and ask that the archangels come through and just continue to show us and work with us. And if you don't feel like you have really strong psychic sight or hearing, maybe you can start asking your angels to reveal these things in your dreams, start keeping a dream journal, everything will be relevant If you feel like you need to watch a particular movie or go to a particular place, really pay attention. If somebody says something to you and then you later read those same words or another person talks to you about it or you hear a song with those particular words in it, pay attention to those synchronicities that guides and angels are trying to show you something. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to mask everyone's energy field because I can see some of these beings are seeing me. And if I can see them, they can see me. So we're going to make sure that we cloak ourselves and call in an invisibility cloak right now. So your energy can't be traced back to you. And we're going to send the octopus energy out into that space as well, that mental space, so they can't see what we're clearing and therefore try and block us. Archangel Michael is back here again with a flaming blue sword and he's like spiraling it over his head as he's cutting cords for everyone. Wow, I just saw like maybe 10,000 people come forward. (laughs) That is these beings that are stuck in your energy fields are influencing you. That's a lot. So I'm going to open up my cross of light and shift all these energies. I'm going to call on Yeshua to help me and all the angels. Let's ask them to cut cords with all of these beings and all of these influences and shift these energies out. And sometimes when we do this work, if this person has just like passed on or if their influence on this planet is no longer being allowed, you might actually see people passing on. It might even be groups of people, family groups, cult-like groups, anywhere where there is a gathering or mob of people that is dark witches, covens, dark magicians, anyone who is like as a group negatively impacting. You might have several co-workers that pass or you might see them beginning to receive a lot of their karma and their energy back because you've disconnected and they can no longer feed off of you. They might start getting sick. They might start experiencing job loss, vehicle malfunctions, whatever it is they were trying to project onto you, wish onto you. I am on a hey, 
My guides and angels are saying you might get a little bit lightheaded from all these mental energy shifts. You might feel um, a little bit stressed from all the emotional releases and the physical changes in your body as your body adapts to these energies being extracted. So get plenty of fluids. You might want to get some electrolytes in your system. I like to do like pomegranate juice. Um, it helps to balance me out. Out and helps to um, stabilize me so I'm not dizzy. Make sure you're giving your body plenty of rest, time to process all of this out. And if you're feeling emotional, just give yourself a little bit of space. Take a mental health day from work if you can. Just, you know, sleep in, rest, get some really good food. Okay, so I'm seeing Cassell of the Holy Waters coming in to offer up the breath of life to blast these energies back. And if you can see Cassell, Cassell almost looks like a cream colored gargoyle with a spear tipped tail, but feathery, angelic wings. I'm feeling some pain in my lower back, so I want to focus all on all of the lower chakras and just purge these out. They're going to bring in the proper colors and open up your chakras to the right size for you at this time to be able to give and receive properly. And they're going to cleanse and purge them out. So I see a lot of dark energy in the lower chakras. So we're going to call on to Bear of the Waters, who's a fairy, and she's going to utilize her healing waters to flush out these dark energies. And I'm going to extend this up into the upper chakras as well. I'm getting some pain in my right temple and tightness in my right shoulder and neck. And they're asking that you surrender all of this energy to source. They're saying this is no longer your fight. This is no longer your battle. You can free yourself from this. You can turn this over to God. I am on a Seeing Iris of the Rainbows here, who is another fairy, she works with the light colors to balance her chakras. And I'm also seeing the archangels coming forward with their various colored flames to help purge this out. And Saint Germain is also here with his group of angels with the violet flame. And he's asking you to call upon him to hold this violet flame in your energy field for the next 48 hours to help purge all of this dense energy for you. Just want to thank all of the guidance, the angels, the galactic guides, the fairies, everyone who came through today to assist in this clearing. I would like to thank everybody for assisting in clearing these intense energies for yourself, your lineage, and the collective consciousness. I always tell people I'm really grateful that I've spent decades clearing my energy because some of the people who have just begun waking up are really kind of having a rocky ride with all of these energy shifts. And as Gaia just starts shaking all these energies out of her own being, cleansing and purging the planet for us. But just know that every time you focus on your own shadow work and you cleanse and heal any aspect of yourself and choose to be the very best version of yourself every day, that you're actually increasing the light planetarily for every being that is connected to you all. So thank you for being willing to do that very difficult work because a lot of people who just want spiritual abilities and the connection to source aren't willing to do what it takes to get to that level. So they're just trying to jump in and take from others. But we're supposed to be receiving from source and then giving to others. So those karmic people 
who are wanting to take you out to get your gifts, what God is going to do for them is go, okay, you want this person's abilities and its gifts, then I'm going to take you through every single thing that this person had to go through in their journey over countless lifetimes and all of the pain and all of the struggle and all of the hardship and all of the heartache. And I'm going to take you through all of it because you're asking me to give you this person's gifts. So if you want these gifts for yourself, you're going to have to do the work. And these are the people that absolutely positively do not want to do any of the work. They just want a destiny steal. And that's not going to happen. So when they're asking for these things, this is the way it's going to go down for them. So if you are a karmic listening, and this is you being unwilling to do this kind of work, then God's going to put you in a position of having to do this work. And it's going to take a really long time. Because not only are you trying to go the easy route and not earn the spiritual authority that you're looking for, but you're also adding more and more and more karma to your plate because you are attacking the light beings to get their gifts. So just be aware of that, and I highly recommend you stop doing that (laughs) because it's just hurting you. And every time you try and throw these death spells and everything, on these beings, you're just causing a spiritual death, which is advancing them into a higher state of spiritual gifts and being in closeness with God. So thank you for that. And for those of you who are doing the work, I want to thank you for doing it appropriately to elevate yourself and everyone else who has the opportunity and the joy of connecting to you. My guides have instructed me to switch up my Patreon channel somewhat. I was doing a lot of the extended sessions to the original sessions on YouTube originally through the Patreon channel, but they're now instructing me to do more of the high-tech, high-level clearings through Patreon so that a lot of these energies that are continuing to spy on my channel and attempting to influence and block us won't have as easy access to it. But for those of you who choose to join the community on Patreon, you'll be able to participate in all of the extended sessions that I have out there, as well as the more advanced level clearings I'll be placing on the channel. The first one that's going to go up on Patreon is going to be the Take On Assassin Jump Ships, where there are about 10,000 dark ET jump ships that are trying to come in and wipe out the light workers. So if you would like that clearing, please do join me on Patreon, and I'll put the link below. It'll be up hopefully in the next couple of days. And in the meantime, feel free to enjoy all of the extended sessions. And I want to thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your donations, which help to support my work. I truly and deeply appreciate it. I'm just wishing you so much light and love and peace in your life. Blessings.